A magical world of colour and silence lies beneath the surface of the Red Sea. Coral reefs support a breathtaking variety of marine life. They're like tropical rainforests under the ocean. But the growing popularity of scuba diving has taken its toll on the reefs. Inexperienced divers kick up the sand or damage the corals, and tourists leave their rubbish behind. The countries bordering the sea have realized that they need to take a joint approach. If you look around us, you'll see that this is actually a community connected by water. We'll have the same water coming from Jordan to Israel and back and forth. Same goes with Saudi Arabia and Egypt. So actually, whatever one does, it influences the other. With pollution and tourism, it's only a matter of time before these waters become hostile to marine life. So scientists from Israel and Jordan are working together to try to reverse the damage to the coral. This is the coral nursery. Under the sea here, the scientists let the coral grow for six months to a year before they transfer it to the artificial reef. It's like an underwater laboratory. A dozen or so types of coral, including some rare species, all growing together. It would take decades for this wealth and variety of coral to develop naturally. We have also fast-growing corals and slow-growing corals, and we have special conditions for them. So they will actually grow as fast as possible and develop the best we can. And this is where the corals will be planted an artificial reef made of special concrete that's friendly to the environment. It's been here since May, and already it's attracting the attention of passing fish. Once the coral is attached to the surface, it should become a haven for marine life. The reef is attracting divers too. Dozens are coming to check it out every day. And this is just the beginning. In a few months' time, another artificial reef will be built on the Jordanian side of the Red Sea, and corals will be transferred from the Israeli breeding grounds. Scientists in Israel and Jordan hope that the artificial reefs will attract divers away from the natural reefs, giving the coral and other underwater life a chance to regenerate so that they can be enjoyed by future generations. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, in the Red Sea.